YouTube, Kira Kage here, back with some more Code Torto. Uh, picking up from, like, where, we, where I left off last time, I, uh, loaded the save, and then went through it, then, but I didn't, it recorded, so, uh, just got there. Anyway. You are a strong opponent. Atrus was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Fabric. One does not sweat in the... Yeah, pick up those words. Then our last <laughs> Excuse me. Fine, I don't there is no need for the last no. of us to join in this fight. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. We fight as one when we are five, not six. And that number should be enough for this lesson. Okay. I am ready. I guess. Very well. So but at the same time, no way. And... What's that mean? We knew you are back. Okay. Go down. No. Hmm. What a fight on the pretty lady like this. You are a strong opponent. We fight as very well. Is done. Okay. There is nothing more that we can do. Alright, we're going to go in again. Okay, so. I'm going to run it. Whatever. 
What does the thingy do useful? What is the single use? Okay. I might use this to help out, okay. I'm ready. Very well. Don't want to be ready. Okay. Okay, so. Then go for something. Play. Oh, 
Atrus has given you permission to leave this place and not to return. I have some other questions for us. You may... The mystery... She is meditating, and she does not wish to be disturbed. Your presence here has troubled her, and I hope you do not choose to trouble her further. She leads us as she rebuilds... T we serve the Jedi, yet... Atrus has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to... Atrus has said that if Rep... Atrus has chosen instead to focus her... She predicted you would say as much... I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have... Oh, yes. Very well. Follow me. There shall be no more matches. There is much we have learned from... Oh, I can't see something anymore. Alright. Oh, Did you my artifact question? Why have you approached... You may ask... This was once a mighty irrigation center for Tila. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath... Shortly before the destruction of Dantooine. Even the Sith prefer life prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. It was a place where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. Artifacts. Yes, many relics from Dan. She was able to bring them here before. Just... Viewing the relics is not. There is truth in what you say. Get many such. But if you wish to see a few of them, speak to the last of the handmaid. Yes, she should be in the training chamber to the north and west of here. She constantly seeks to improve. Because she is easily. I will not speak. You may. The mis yeah. She leads. Ah, that's another question. You may. You do. We serve the Jedi. Atrus is the only Jedi here. This is true. But the mistress will bring others in time. You are no Jedi. Atrus has made that clear. When you went to war, you gave up the mantle of the Jedi and became something else. I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess, we are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. Why would it be an insult? We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atrus's will should it be necessary. Atrus believes hmm. the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. And who watches you? Atrus is the one we serve, and she guides our actions. Atrus is the Jedi not supposed to watch Jedi. Atrus is trusted. She has watched Jedi rise and fall and knows the ways of both paths to see the signs when they begin. She is a worthy one to judge the Jedi when the Jedi refuse to judge their own. She is truly embarrassed that you make her. Nice little corrupt circle you've made her. I do not expect a criminal to understand. You have existed outside the circle of the Jedi for too long. Atrus is the only Jedi here. This is true. You are no Jedi. Atrus has made the... You may... We share the same... As I... If you seek to... You may... Okay. Another hand lady. You have returned. Is there something you need? 
I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. I know a little of them, yes. Much Jedi knowledge is stored here. Secrets of their teachings, combat styles, and discipline. Where is it stored? The Jedi relics are kept by Atris within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. Atris has made her orders on the map. Entry to her meditation chamber is forbidden. To even ask shows you doubt my loyalty to her. Most come from Dantooine, brought here before the academy there was destroyed by Malak. Not all relics were able to be saved, for there was not time to rescue them all. The Jedi relic... Force. I will not. Atris has made entry to her meditation. I have seen a few of them. Yes, they were not always in Atris's meditation chamber. Excuse <laughs> her. There were many relics, among them small cubes, warm to the touch, each containing their own light. When held, some would speak, ask strange questions. Yes, their questions were confusing. They seemed to think I was someone else, someone's student. I had thought perhaps I had damaged them in some way, but I could not think of what I had done. She's full sensitive. The Jedi relic. Most come from Dantooine. Not all relics were able to be saved. Okay. How do I get that? I wonder. Huge polar irrigation. 
navigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Of course, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Very well, General. Ah, oh, damn it, I've got my side points again, damn it. Why have you approached me? Your ship is... You may... Is this your droid? It looks badly damaged. Dissect it. Next time someone takes try to take the ship.
find a Jedi cut somewhere. She says, she says, you know, nothing. in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. I believe that is the extent of her express... Yes, it is... Without having seen battle as a pure form... Then her expressed feelings will have to... You may... It dishonors me that they would say such a thing to an outsider, but I cannot deny the truth in what they say. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. There is much knowledge here, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. Even if I possessed the senses that the Jedi were said to have, Atrus has set us upon the road we are to travel until the end of our days. We are to serve the Jedi by watching them, not learning their ways. much knowledge there is so I know 
know your meaning. Stance, form, discipline. Yes, the methods you use to meet your opponent speak. It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrace was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. It was brutal, without finesse, but showed his commitment to defeat the Jedi. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing, like weaving threads in a tapestry, or strokes upon a canvas. He spoke through battle and tactics, in a way one could never do in words. He showed his heart at Malachor V, and finally, at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I believe he was speaking to Malak in that final battle, though few knew it. Through battle, Revan was meeting betrayal with betrayal, and showing Malak the pain he had inflicted on his master. What stronger display than death, for conveying one's sense of being betrayed by one's own student? Revan's anger must have been great indeed. To claim to know anything of Revan's choices, or what lay in his heart when Malak fell, is conceit, servant of Atris. And whether Revan had any choice in the matter at all, is something else you should consider. The Force is a powerful thing to wield, or deny. But to say that seems an untruth, based on what I know of the Jedi. The Force can drive others, but there is still choice, is there not? Ah, but at what point does the power the Force exerts submerge any attempt at choice or free will? You have taken a complicated question, servant of Atris, and you have trivialized it with your answer and lack of experience. If there is no choice in the Force, then our teachings and our actions are for nothing, and I refuse to believe that is true. You may ask. I am... already preserved it. What I wonder is, if the Jedi teachings should not simply be stored, there is much in their approach to battle. To the Ichani, battle is a means of communication. It is an art, in the truest sense of the word. Stance, form, yes. If that is where one's devotion lies. It was to the Jedi. When terror yet he I believe. You have returned. I know what Jedi relics are kept. I will not entry. No, not. The Jedi. Atrus is my entry. Damn it. Uh, okay. Looks like I can't. No, 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 no. It is hard sometimes to be the dark side and the kind of uh, oh. Okay, so Very well. 
circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Hmm. Much defiance in that one. You are correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like influence has grown amongst the youngest of the order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the exile. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. 
that emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Riven, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Hmm. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they?
power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal, though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means, never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common, though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards. I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? How many credits? <laughs> All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yes, I'll be careful. Now, let's get started. <laughs> you wouldn't guess it from the outside. But it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. Revenge, and to crush the Mandalorians, <laughs> to send them back to wherever it was they came from. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me. Turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was this something you wanted me for? That old thing? I built it when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing an emitter matrix and lens. Something else I can help you with? Sorry, General, I'm flat out. Something else? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who... Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. Yes? Okay. 
bow. Yes, your features, your stance. Atrus spoke of such Jedi who followed Revan. How their bodies came to mirror the dark side within them. Because there is a chance of redemption within all of us. And there is no point at which the dark side completely claims one. No matter what their choices. No, it is what I believe. Atrus did not believe such things. You may ask. Before entering Atrus' service, yes, I carried a name, as all the children of the Ichani do. It is not important. My title and rank is of consequence, not my name. I take value in Atrus' service, not in myself. We all have value in our oaths to others. And the promises we make. When we make that pledge, we are pledging ourselves to something greater. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts the galaxy is unmade. I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. You may ask. I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts.
necessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate recitation. And... I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. The TSF once again thanks you for your cooperation. Yeah. Yeah. The droid chest is oh the droid process. Okay, so I need like one item left. And still need a missing and lens fixtures. How much money do I have? Oh, ten thousand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 
No. Yeah. 
for that. Put them in. Don't put them. Well, they still have the one last. This is the closest. There's a lot of ships. Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. Why are they taking me? We've taken some hits! We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm going to put us down on that jungle moon. Okay. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just going to forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. 
Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to... Well, I don't like it. Hmm. Onderon, we're lo Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Let's head to the outpost, though. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Well, since I'm on a new planet, even if it's moon, quite a good place to end the video for now. So, uh, if you're new, please subscribe if you enjoy, leave a like, and if you have anything to say, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.